Okay, Tim, we have this set up on our natural water, knowing that our hose is three quarter inch hose and it's going into your 12 mil hose here. Um, that should probably be a one inch hose to allow for more water flow. So we're set up 3200 RPM. to take off the natural mains water and we're going to hook into your tank and the water flow that is in there right now. So there's the water level. We don't have there was water probably level, maybe 400 like liters. Maybe 300, 400 liters and in the, the tank at this time. So Tim, as you can see in here, we come from the tank and we go into this filter. Um, and then it goes down and it gets whittled down into like uh, one of the small exits there and then into only 12 and a half mil hose. Um, I'm sure that if we were to make all of those, that joiner and this hose bigger, we would actually get more flow. Um, but again, this pump will not suck. It is only a piston pump and it will not suck the water. So the water flow is coming from down here, out here, and then when we hook up this hose, yeah. Can you hook that up for me? Okay, and then it's going to come through this hose, through, around, and all the way up into here. Yeah. All the way open. And go for it, Steve. Start it up. So now we're running off. So you don't get no pressure coming out the gun? Yep. You're a tank. Yeah, open the gun, yep. Yeah, open the gun, but yep. no flow. Completely open. And as you can see, we've got a hand on the gun. Water should actually be flowing through. Um, just as a flow through, it will come yeah. through the pump without any pressure. And it's not doing that. Even with the gun completely open, it's actually not doing so that. This is the, and all the water that's coming out of the hose when it's being gravity fed. And up, up to that height, when you lift it up, yep. it is so remembering that a piston pump doesn't actually suck water in. So now fill we fill your tank and we filled it to so we'll quite close to the top. I would say we've got maybe 1,200 litres in that tank now. Um, and then we start again and it makes a huge difference because of the weight of the water obviously pushing through the gravity. Right, so we're going to try it again now. My attention that we have two strainers on here. So we've got this large one down here, which is fine. Um, but then we've got another restrictive strainer that comes in here. So that small amount of water that is actually getting to the pump is now going through a strainer yet again. very up close to the 4,000 psi um, but as water actually depletes and goes down we then start getting a big issue again with the pressure and it drops and fluctuates um, the pressure gauge goes, she goes all over the shop um, and it really struggles. starts to deplete uh, this is just a little bit of a you've um, some of the chains are they're not attached properly um, if the police actually pull up your guys there it's that's not a good thing because this trailer is super heavy so that also needs to be fixed up